Welcome to Nursing School Explained and this video on nephrostomy tubes or nephrostomies and associated nursing care. So as a quick review, the normal urinary tract, we have the kidneys, the ureters drain the urine into the bladder, which serves as a reservoir, and then the urine gets eliminated through the urethra. Now, an ostomy is an abnormal opening from the inside to the outside of the body, and the nephrostomy means that that opening is from the kidney, kidney nephro pertaining to the kidney. And so it's usually called actually a percutaneous nephrostomy, meaning that it comes through the skin from the inside to the outside of the body. And indications for the need to have a nephrostomy are kidney stones. So now if we have a kidney stone that's maybe blocking here at the renal pelvis and not allowing that urine to drain, we still need to be able to eliminate the urine and a tube inserted here into the renal pelvis will help eliminate that, that need to drain in the, into the ureter. There can be strictures of the ureter where it means that it's very narrow and until that can be resolved, the urine still has to be drained from the kidney. There can be cancer such as renal cancer or any other cancer invading the um, retroperitoneum and any other surrounding um, tissues from the kidney. There can, it can be due to kidney infection and certainly trauma. So if there has been uh, blunt or even um, penetrating trauma to the kidney, then we'll still have to drain the urine from the kidney and also make sure that we eliminate the urine this way because otherwise that urine will just stay within the kidney and cause hydronephrosis and then probably sepsis. So here we have the look at our patient from behind. So here we have the two kidneys. This particular patient only required one nephrostomy. So nephrostomy meaning, so now this tube that comes from the renal pelvis to the outside of the body through the skin, and the tube and the insertion site is usually secured with a tegaderm, which is this see-through um, plastic sticker that you can stick over that insertion site to keep it nice and clean. Then there is um, a very long tube that now connects from the insertion site and the tegaderm down to a drainage bag. And because that tube is so much longer than a usual urinary catheter, because it comes all the way from up here from the mid um, or upper abdomen or, or the flank area rather than out the normal urethral opening, we need to secure it with some special tape that so that it doesn't move because otherwise the tube inside the kidney will move and that certainly can cause some discomfort. So that uh, drainage tubing is very much secured and then we have the drainage bag here that will collect the urine that the patient or the provider will then need to drain in order to keep a close eye on the urinary drainage there. As for our nursing care, because this tube, this nephrostomy tube goes directly into the renal pelvis, there's a high risk for infection. So we wanna make sure we keep that tegaderm on there and then we change it at least once a day or as ordered. And we probably should use sterile technique to do that, but refer to your policy, the policy of your facility. Um, we should also empty the bag before it is full because if it fills up all the way, it'll back up and then it has nowhere to go besides the kidney to back up and then it could cause some problems. We want to keep the site dry and check the tubing for any kinks and make sure that it's free flowing. This particular tubing for the nephrostomy is a lot uh, less in diameter than a, than a regular catheter or a tubing that you might have seen from a catheter collection bag. And uh, we already talked about cleaning and replacing the tegaderm site daily or as ordered. And either soap and water or chlorhexidine, but again, make sure that you check the orders on how to take care of this nephrostomy site for the patient. Now, this is also not a permanent solution. So this is usually temporary until any of these conditions here can be resolved and the patient can have their urine diverted then from the kidney to some other urinary diversion or maybe the kidney stone has now, is now gone or the stricture has been resolved and everything is restored the normal way. 
So thank you for watching this video on nephrostomies. Also check out my other videos about the other urinary diversions so that you can get a better understanding of all the different options and care that are involved here. Thanks so much for watching and see you soon.